going to be interesting where this car world goes because, you know, I we complain about electric cars, right? But we think about the previous generation of cars. Yeah. And we think about the modern day cars and what we only, only thing we really can talk about is they sound okay, they're incredibly fast, easy to drive. Well, it's almost like they're just teeing us up for electric cars because they're not going to sound at all. They're going to be fast as heck, easy yeah. to drive. It's like, I don't, yeah. are we valuing as a car community of people what matters in cars or are we really just becoming robots to the point where electric car sounds like a viable option? I, that's what it feels, it's, it's right. It's like, that's what it's going to. And that's why to, like, at least from what we like, I know what you like out of cars, right? And like, you know what I like? I like cars that feel like the 430, that feel like the M3. Those are becoming more like what I want to get into rather than a car that's just so good and so fast. Like a car can be really fast and not fun to drive. Like, let me make that very clear. It can be a high horsepower build and not be fun to drive. It can be a not high horsepower, just a stock car that's fast as shit like this. And it's, it's fun to drive, but it wears off. Like you said, it wears off after a month, three months, four months, five months, six months, it wears off. You know what car hasn't worn off on me? M3. M3. I've had it for, I've had one, I've had at least had one for man, you fed, three or four years. Three now? Three yeah. different colors? Yep. Different specs? For the last four years, five BMW years. needs to give him a freaking sponsor. Yeah, you give me sponsorship. Man. <laughs> like, that's the difference though. What's going on, Boosted Mob family? So, I'm Boosted Trav, and today we're gonna do another one of the Let's Drive series that I'm pretty excited about. I had an audio issue when I was actually going to put up this video. So I had to redo my intro, so here I am. Anyways, if you guys haven't liked or subscribed or are hitting the little ding button to be able to stay up to date on all my videos, I would greatly appreciate that as it helps me with the YouTube algorithm to get recognized so that I can continue to feel motivated to deliver you guys all of this great content. Also, thank you for my first 501 subscribers. I appreciate all of you guys and I look forward to being able to grow uh, my subscriber base to uh, more individuals who find the content that I provide uh, fun, enjoyable, and exciting. Anyways, stay tuned and let's check out how this goes. The steering wheel. This area just sucks too. It does. Yeah, doing anything. Your steering wheel feels, feels alright. It's so slippery. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very it's, smooth. Yeah, it's nice. All right. Well, I can say from normal driving right now, feels so pleasant. It is pleasant. <laughs> like you could daily. Like anyone who says. I need to have a daily driver for my Lamborghini right now. I don't know. It feels very... With like... So, all right. First of all, we're in the... We're, you, if you guys don't know, you clicked on the title, so it's like pretty surprising that you don't know. But we're in a 610-4 Huracan, the all-wheel drive one. And this will be Travis's first time driving it. First time in a Huracan like, driving. So he's rear-end passenger. We've done all that. But driving it, totally different. You're taking right here. Um, you said right? Yeah. And then you'll take a left at the next light. We'll just drive around that area. Yep. What's up? Peace signs, brother. 
you want an honest review of the car and true thoughts on like whether this car's worth it, you're gonna like this video. That's just, let me preface the video with that and now we can, now we can get into it. So to give a little backstory, I own a Lotus Evora. So we're gonna compare, left here, yeah. this car to, uh, to that from a driving perspective. I see the exhaust wants to open up, it wants to come out and play a little bit. Yeah, it wants to. I'll tell you off rip, it's not slow. It's not a slow car. <laughs> it's not slow. That, that's the first thing. Like, <laughs> and I know, like, look guys, I get it. You might be sitting here and say, of course you fucking idiots. Of course it's not slow, it's a Lamborghini. But like, let me be like, it, it's fast. Like it's genuinely a fast car for the amount of power it makes. It's very fast, it hooks really well. Yeah. And it does, it, it shifts super quick. It shifts faster than it does when you're not driving it. And you know, that it's just, the car's fast. Like, and I know it's a Lamborghini, it should be fast. But sometimes these cars aren't as fast as you think they are. Like it has power, uh, but <laughs> the it needs an exhaust. Yeah. So this car, <laughs> let's be like, this is my true opinion on this car. This car came with a sport exhaust. The sticker out the door on this car was like 298. So it's got a ton of fucking options. Sport exhaust. Like it is a well spec option car. This is the sport exhaust in this car. It doesn't. It's How much does the sport exhaust cost? It was like 5k. Someone paid like 5,500 bucks for this, I think. So I would have to look at the survey. This is like around five grand. So you've got a five thousand dollar exhaust on this car. That sounds like the car is from the factory normally. Like if this is the sport exhaust, I am concerned with what the actual car with no exhaust on it sounds like. What like what? I don't know. I hear just a lot of engine noise until like you're really on it. And then it's like, okay, I have to drive an asshole all the time yeah, to get yeah. any sound of the V10. And even then, like, I, I'm downshifting from third to second in our M3s or any other car, it bah, has bah, yeah. a lot of emotion. You have to accelerate to yeah. enjoy this car. You really got to accelerate. So, and the acceleration, it, the transmission on this car is so good, I can't feel really that it's really switching. It's so seamless, which might be what a lot of people talk about. You know, we did the F430 video, and they're like, oh, you go drive a 458, and it's like the woman's Ferrari, because it's like, you can't really feel anything. It yeah. doesn't feel engaging. You can kind of say that about this transmission. Yeah. I mean, I'm, Here, here's, I'm not, no jerk. Here's what I would, here's what I would like, uh, you know, compare this car to. Car, the car is beautiful. It's great. It, it, it's very cool. It's a Lamborghini. Everyone fucking rips on GTRs. I mean, they shred the GTR. Everyone always be like, it's fast. It looks cool. There's tons of mods, but it but feels like you're playing it a computer. Feels like you're playing a computer game. game. It feels like you're playing a computer game. Let me tell you right now, this car feels like a computer game. It, it feels it, like yes. It, you, he just accelerated hard, and we are on. It's it was just finished raining. Like it's still a little misty out. And the car, I don't feel this. I don't feel uncomfortable. I feel completely fine. And the way the car shifts, it's just it's just fast, and it does everything for you. Like. Yeah, I don't feel really anything to be honest. When I hold the steering wheel, I don't feel anything in the steering wheel. I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I can feel a lot of it in my ass, but like I can't really sense really what the tires are doing when I grip the steering wheel. The it prison jokes really, I could be making it's right really now. Numb. The prison jokes I could be making right now <laughs> through the roof. There, we just lie. He just teed up so many good prison jokes. This is the prisoner's reveal. Get clean, clean. Big fella, don't look up, just toot that ass up. Listen, I know what it look like, but this ain't gonna be You it. wanted to drop the dub? I'm gonna show you love, bitch. God. You looking like a peppermint patty, I'm gonna be your daddy daddy. Toot that ass up. Like, totally different. Bring me that ass. Well, you like boy boys. God. This the yard? <laughs> yeah, first day on the yard. This finna be a breeze. Big fella, why are you on the yard? I am still on hard. Get back in that cell so I can get you hell. I ain't coming for all that. Toot that ass up. Listen, I just came out here to lift weight on the yard. You came to get strong, but I'm on long. This is simple of me rushing up your well, ass. Hey, listen, I don't know what's going through your head, 
But I ain't coming for all that. Get your little ass over here. He go another ball. Get used to holding him. Come grab him. Get over here. Oh, you horny, horny up. My name is Torch. Now take up all that horn. I ain't coming for all that. Shoot that ass up. I feel my ass. Ever else I'm numb. I can't feel anything else. As you as you say it back to me, I realize <laughs> how I cheat myself. So, up no, for but that. it is it all, like it's a it's fun. It's a what's up, man? Nice AirPods. Why are you riding your bike in the rain? Like a the virus immune. You are coron. Yeah, this guy said coronavirus. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing it goes for without. It's like not like a oh. dual clutch like from the M3. That's a fun fact. Is oh. the dual clutch in the M3? Still, you still have, that, you have to. You actually have to push on the gas. I think too. that's the best dual clutch if you want like new technology but still that old school sensation. It doesn't drive. It really feels like a manual. Where I didn't realize this moved forward. It's yeah, like an automatic. It'll, even in the Corsa mode, like the full everything huh. mode. That's what I forward. used to rip the GTR or the AMG GTS for because I was like the transmission. Even though it says it's dual clutch, just or whatever, does. Feels like an automatic. Yeah. yeah. It's ah. it's so good. I'm gonna rip it. That they don't like the same watch. No problem. And it's wet out. It's, so it's, on, it's on nice tires. Okay, we're ripping it, but like I just gotta say, this thing has grip. It yeah. feels like I'm driving a GTR. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And it's a good thing, guy, right? So it sounds weird because it's you're driving a Lamborghini. That makes you feel special. The attention you get. Yeah. This car gets a lot of attention. The brand itself, being able to see the bull on the steering wheel and I would say here in the V10, but I can't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Go right here. I'll I get think are, are are great. I, yeah. I, the car feels heavy. And it's just not a nice day. The roads are wet. Roads are wet, so we can say this can be driven in the rain. That's a plus. Yeah, it's driven in the rain. That's good to go. But well, I'm gonna let Travis because it's his first time ever driving it. Like we talked about earlier. It's driven in the rain, though. If he ever sells it, yeah, never yeah, seen yeah, rain. Never seen red. Sunny days only. <laughs> never seen red line. Never revved. Never raced. This car is clean, immaculate. Never none of that any of that stuff. None of that junk. This car. <laughs> this car hasn't even thought about seeing rain. This car, I thought of. I saw the rain, and the car was like no, 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 and I put a cover on it inside just to be sure it was gonna get rained on. This is all CGI. We really upped our production budget here. <laughs> but he's a Lotus owner, and he's got the M3. We're gonna get his impressions on it. And then I'm gonna talk about how I feel about this car just after like ownership, like a quick summary and give you like my opinion on whether or not it's worth it. But I wanna hear what he's gotta to say too because he's never driven it, he's just been passenger. I will say, it's pretty nice, you know? It's uh, it's pretty wide, actually. It a, yeah. It is a pretty wide car. Um, Visibility is great like off, off the riff. Like it almost feels like this whole thing is like a kind of a 180 glass. Yeah, it's like I feel like in some of those cars, you know, it's like it's, it's it is a lot harder to see, and it doesn't it makes it less like dailyable. But this car, like, yeah, I mean, even like your your side visibility, like the only bad visibility you have, which is not really that bad, is your rear. Yeah, visibility. yep. But even that's still full, like glass. Like I can still see all the cars back. Yeah, there. and I feel like you don't necessarily need it as much because this and this all this visibility is so good too. Yep. Like it's like this is so far and out of. Kind of your side, not in your blind spot. Yeah. The car. I guess you can say you, if you're new to the car, you don't fully know like where your front end is because it drops so. so yeah. Slowly. But all, all the things. What was that sound? Just kidding. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Um. Is this sport mode? Is it exhaust on? Oh no, you got put in sport. So oh. yeah, we, we've been driving around for a little bit. Oh, we were in civic mode. Yeah, we were in full civic okay. mode. I was gonna really say, it sounds quieter than... Oh, no, no, it is. <laughs> like, this car, I know, like in Strata, I don't know how you feel, but I'll tell you guys how I feel. In Strata, this car is so quiet. It, it, it sounds like a, like a my fiance's Mazda. Yeah. It so, really does. I'm in sport mode now, which is weird, because in Strata Corsa, I guess sport is universally yeah. The word. They were like, yeah, you know, name it Strada, and then they got Strada. 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 What should we name the middle one? Sport. sport. What? <laughs> sport. Yeah, sport. What about like, you know, what is the? I don't know what the Italian word for sport is, but like, the sport though would have been way cooler. I'm gonna go to Strada now. I don't know if you guys can really hear it. But I'm gonna go to Strada. It's kind of, kind of neutered. Yeah, it's light the car pretty well. The car is entirely too quiet for a two hundred thousand dollar car. I don't know how. You, I mean, three hundred thousand. This car was two hundred like ninety eight sticker plus taxes. The person that bought it originally paid over three hundred k. How do you? I don't know how you feel. 
unless I accelerate, I don't hear anything. Road noise. Yeah, I don't hear the motor at all. Nope. It's, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It depends on, are you old and you're like, oh, I want the car, but I want it to be quiet. I don't know why you want a car to be quiet if it's a sports car. But yeah. uh, this thing is, yeah, like, put that dick in sport. Motor sport, yeah. put that thing in sport. Yeah, keep it in sport. It's I mean, better. Like, as the, so we were driving around for a little bit now. come on. The burbles do come on in sport. And then they, they get amped up. Can you hear them? No. In Corsa mode, I think they get amped up even more. drive series before mm -hmm. and we took the F430 out. If I'm going to say off of initial impressions, this car being newer, the new hot car on the market in terms of a sports car, I would say I feel kind of lukewarm. Yeah. Um, that car had so much sound that this car does not deliver, which is, for me, like one of the most important things a car needs to deliver on first is what makes you want to keep a car. It's how the car sounds, how the car feels. Yeah. I don't feel any of that. I don't feel... The steering is tight, but it's it's kind of numb. I don't really feel like what each wheel is doing, yeah. but I can feel that I have a large amount of grip, and I can hear some burbles. Yeah. But the steering wheel is like artificially stiff. I don't know if this is hydraulic or electric. I, I don't uh, know the step backs, but it feels like it's stiff and like where you don't really actually want the steering wheel to be stiff. Yeah. But then it's loose, and, you know, at the same time. It's weird. I don't know how to really explain like artificial. that. Yeah. Coming from the Lotus, uh, that, that, that steering wheel feel is like, oh, man. Yeah. I've driven that, like, a really short amount of distance. I think, like, just, like, around the parking garage. And that car steering, even in that short distance, you're like, damn, this thing is, like, it's tight. It's real tight. Yep. In here, uh, you know, it's, it's nice. I mean, people... You know, it's nice. I don't really know what else to really say. I mean, yeah, it's like it's <laughs> nice. It's it's like what? Well, it's a really nice car. Like it feels good on the inside. I know it's like a lame word, but like it, it it it's not it's not gonna blow you away. Yeah. It's also not like it's not disappointing. You no, got, you got your stuff there, but you're not really like if you're getting a super car. I don't think anymore. It's like it, it's you're not like focused on like can I connect to. I don't this, this think, is. as of right now, driving this car, I've, I've done some launches, I've done some acceleration, I'm driving normal, I'm on and off the gas. I don't think I'm going to go home and go on cars.com and try to figure out if I want to get a Lamborghini. I don't yeah. think that's happening. Not, at least just not this one. So, like, what is your, like, I guess, what are your, like, top, like, the reasons why? Like, what do you, when you, like, we've spent some good amount of time in the car now, like, an hour. What is, like, your reason to be, like, mm, I'm not going to look out for this? Number one reason is sound. Now, people say V10 sound amazing, and they do. This car does sound great. But when you add $200,000 plus to it, does that sound still deliver that same sensation? I'd say for in a car with this exhaust, I'm not in love. Yeah. Um, and then the steering, I think, is just not really making me feel like I'm driving something special. Yeah. I feel like I'm in something special because I'm in a Lamborghini, but that to me wears off after this becomes normal. Yeah. So then it's like, okay, what are the things that matter the most when you're still driving? And I think if you look at this car as like, I have a lot of money, I have a lot of cars, and I want a car that's still like of that caliber, but then can be daily drivable, this is that car. I'm not that guy. Yeah. So then, you know, that I don't feel like that works for me. Um, the transmission is wonderfully smooth, and it's like, you know, arguably as good as the PDK and the Porsches, but... You don't get any of the sound transformation that's like as nice as say like the GT3 with its PDK. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't want to like offend this car because I feel like if I could have a V10, I would, you know, this car is still amazing. But I think a perfect example would be, I don't know if you've driven the M5 V10, but that car had character. Uh -huh. When that car came on, it had a lot of different ranges of sound. This thing sounds Lots and lots of intake, exhaust kind of comes on, artificial burbles. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, so like you're saying, you're just, it's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to offend anyone that loves this car, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like, the way I like that is like, we've been driving it for a while, the car's super fast, 
is really good at what it does. Like it's really good at going fast. Like the fun thing about it is it's fun at going fast. Like that it is very good at. You feel in control, you feel comfortable, you don't have to do any fucking work. I mean zero work. Like he can put on the gas right now, we're on a bumpy road, and he can leave it in auto mode, and the car is gonna accelerate super fast, and we're gonna be planted, even though it's raining out and we're on like, you know, summer tires. Yeah. It's fine. Like the car is fine. But to me, that's a good thing. It's also a bad thing. And when you, uh, you look at supercars now, in my opinion, like what he's saying, like you want a car that you first sounds good. And I know you can put an exhaust in a car. Like that's like I put exhaust in the M3, you put exhaust in the Lotus, put exhaust in cars. But there's a base characteristic you're starting with and a base that I feel like should be delivered that is not delivered in this car. This is a sport exhaust too that the guy had, the whoever bought it originally had upgraded five, like 5, 5,500 bucks. It, 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 for a sport exhaust, like, it's so lackluster, so if you are going to get it, like he said, get an upgraded one. Get a uh, straight pipe. Yeah, like just straight pipe that hoe. Like, put like, a fucking straight pipe on Straight pipe with some valves or something. Yeah, I don't know. something. Something to liven the car up. Because the car is so good. Like, we, the, the GTR gets ripped on all the time by people for being a robot. A robot. Machine. A video game. It feels like you're playing a computer game. This car feels like it. I have not driven a GTR. But this car feels like a computer game. Yeah. It, it just, you, you're not worried. You're never, like in the M3, you accelerate in the rain, like, oh, you're, 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 you're gonna feel fighting it. the rev line. You've got the noise behind you, like everything. This car, like, I mean, it's just, uh, like, look, I know this is a lot of people's, like, dream cars, and I'm not trying to kill anyone's dream out here, but I'm just trying to be real with you guys, like, earlier V10s, V10 M5, super Legera. Yeah. Those cars, to me, have way more characteristic than this. This, to me, is a daily driver supercar. This is an Audi R8 wrapped in a Lamborghini skin. Yes. Car, dailyable car, all in one. But if I'm driving a supercar, I don't want to be, I think I shouldn't be able to fucking daily it. No, I, I should that's not what I said that. You want it to be where it's like, I don't want to daily because it's not that comfortable, but if I had to, I could do it. Not that this thing is a daily car. Yeah, like this car is a daily. This is more comfortable to ride around in than the M3. Oh, for, for God's sake. This sure. is more comfortable to ride around in than the Lotus. Absolutely. It's and easier to drive than the Lotus. I don't, like, this thing is a, just a machine. Yeah, it's just, it's so, I know that's gonna sound like, like, like people are gonna go, you fucking Huracan, I love it. Dude, I'm telling you, I understand guys, like, it's a dream car for people. It's so good that it's almost bad. It is bad. It's if like you so can't good it's drive, bad. buy this car. Yeah. Cause if you can't drive, you drive this car, you're gonna feel like Chris Harris. Yeah. Yeah, or Randy Pops. Or if, or if you want to make a shit ton of power, you got a lot of money. Buy this car, throw twins. a supercharger or some twins on it. You will be the fastest person in the area. That's not your goal, man. Like there are for a like for how much these cars cost, there are so many other cars out there that you can go get and are gonna be a better deal. Like that is my full consensus on the car. It's amazing. It's is that the car I just sold? <laughs> nope. Okay. 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 <laughs> but like, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I was like, what the? <laughs> no shit, buddy. You got it out here. But like, that's overall consensus, guys. From my standpoint, is you got 190k, 180k, whatever these are sitting at or above for a newer one, a Performante. Go get yourself like, and you want a V10? Go get a Super Legera V10 M5. Yeah. If you wanna try that out, or go get like, there's so many Buy cars. A Super yeah, Super Definitely do it. Get a 430, get a Scud, like yeah. get a 458. Super Trofeo. Super Trofeo. Like those cars, they're not gonna be as new. They're not gonna have the tech and all that. It's gonna be a better super car. Yeah. People say they want this daily drivable, whatever car. You don't. You really don't want it to be this good because you want the car to feel a little scary, to feel a little dangerous. You wanna be able to go out there and it'll... if this was a Dash 2, do you think you'd have a different opinion? I don't know, because they're still so good. But maybe, right? Maybe rear wheel drive, it might be a little bit different. But, I mean, I still think I'd feel the same way. For the amount of money you're going to spend, I think a Super G is just like, and I'd probably take a GTR over this. I haven't driven a GTR, but if this is what this car delivers, I imagine I'd have more fun in the GTR. Yeah. Unless I really want, like, other people's approval. Yeah. Then I'd buy a Lamborghini. Yeah. But... And we're talking all-wheel drive, being incredibly fast, easy to drive, that's a GTR. Then you want to talk about, okay, well then what else can that car do? It can deliver a lot more power, it has a lot more tuning potential, 
and relatively speaking, yeah, money, yeah, yeah. you know, we start talking money invested. Yeah, we yeah. start talking money invested. You know, sky's the limit on this car. Yeah, but uh, on both of them, right? Like, yeah, it really is. But you're, I don't know. I feel like I'd have a. I could probably have more fun in that because you feel a little bit more still. Uh, I feel like the GTR was the start of modern day cars. Yeah, where it still was in the middle, and now they're just too good. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting where this car world goes because you know I we complain about electric cars right but we think about the previous generation of cars yeah then we think about the modern day cars and what we only, only thing we really can talk about is they sound okay they're incredibly fast easy to drive well it's almost like they're just teeing us up for electric cars because they're not gonna sound at all they're gonna be fast as heck easy yeah. to drive it's like I don't yeah. are we valuing as a car community of people what matters in cars or are we really just becoming robots to the point where electric car sounds like a fuckable option? I, that's what it feels, it's, it's right. It's like, that's what it's going to. And that's why to, like, at least from what we like, I know what you like out of cars, right? And like, you know what I like? I like cars that feel like the 430, that feel like the M3. Those are becoming more like what I want to get into rather than a car that's just so good and so fast. Like a car can be really fast and not fun to drive. Like, let me make that very clear. It can be a high horsepower build and not be fun to drive. It can be a not high horsepower, just a stock car that's fast as shit like this. And it's it's fun to drive, but it wears off, like you said. It wears off after a month, three months, four months, five months, six months, it wears off. You know what car hasn't worn off on me? M3. M3. I've had it for, I've had <laughs> one, I've had at least had one for man, you've had, three you or know, four years. Three now? Three yeah. different colors, yeah. different specs? For the last four years, five BMW years. needs to give him a freaking sponsor. Yeah, you give me sponsorship. Dude, <laughs> like, that's the difference, though, you know? It's like you keep yeah. coming back versus, like, I haven't thought about the Zero One since the moment I sold it. No. I sold it, and I was like, whatever. I even knew it before you even went to sell it that that car wasn't for him. I never told it to you because I didn't know yeah. what you was going through, but I was like, it's like, Lauren, I don't think he likes the ZR1. He doesn't talk about it anymore. He doesn't really want to drive it. It's fast. <laughs> that was it. And then you that's got this, is. and you were super gassed. You are super excited. And then I was like, I don't really hear him talking about it anymore. I haven't heard him talk about any mods he wants to put on it. I was like, I don't know if he likes it, but maybe he doesn't want to tell anybody. And now I know. Yeah. It it's just, just, it's cool. I mean, it's really cool for because it's only Lamborghini, but to I me, it's like not cool. I feel like one of these days you're finally going to get that, that AMG you keep talking about. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be like, dude, this is the car I've been talking about. Yeah. It's oh, like yeah. the cars that you keep in the back pocket that just I don't want seem it so cool bad. enough <laughs> are really the ones so you should bad. just go out and do. I want, you know? want to say, if you know me, <laughs> I have told you at one point, probably 20 times about how bad I want to see 63. I want to see 63 so bad. I just like haven't gotten one. I just want it so bad though. Like I will own one. In the next year or two, I will have a C63 in the garage. They're getting cheaper. I'm gonna strap a supercharger with that bitch and I'm gonna have the time of my life. I'll probably never sell it like the M3. Man. Well, I hate to have to see, you know, a Lamborghini go. Yeah, we're here to sell this The car. second guy that's let them go. I think his is a lot more, his was a lot more special than yeah. this was. I feel weird still because it's like, I feel like, uh, I can't say this car's not great. This is like people s spend their entire livelihood dreaming to one day own one of these. And then I feel bad that some of those people are going to get one and then feel like their whole life was a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, little Timmy at home. Hey, little Timmy at home. Popping the tactical. You know, they got like, hey, you got a Super G. That guy with the Super Trofeo. I need to hit him up. I just want to know if it's just this car or, or if. Up. Or if it's all of them, I just can't remember because it's been so long. It's been about four years since I drove in a Super Yeah. Team. I remember the transmission was way worse than the Ferrari, but I remember everything about it felt different. And when I was younger then. Yeah, and it's funny because, like, the stuff that feels bad then, like, we're talking about the Porsches, is, like, what people are going to be, like, is going to be sought after. Yeah. Like, it's people <laughs> used to not like manuals because they're not as fast, but then the manuals are going away and now people are like dying to I find need to have like one. I gotta get a manual who cares about the numbers because you aren't Randy Pops you gotta yep. be out there pushing you know record breaking times and if you are and you're not getting paid for it why are you risking your life yeah and like if you're I mean if you if you're into building big power cars go for it but like if you're not like just what yeah it isn't just get something different like yeah get something different that's it's, if you're not a shop that needs to make sure that they're putting numbers out there to get clientele and money you talk, yeah. You know, you talk to some of those shops too. Not to interrupt, but like you talk to some of the shops, and they like the because they, you know, some of them have multiple cars depending on how successful the mm -hmm. shop is. But like the guys with the Huracans and the GTRs, like I've talked to them, and some of them like the lower power builds. Like I would say, ninety percent like the low power builds more than they like the crazy 
three thousand yeah, horsepower. I mean, goes. this they're car not, has it's not fun at a six hundred and ten. I can barely enjoy like what this car is capable of without being stupidly illegal in terms of speed, right? Yeah. Then you strap another thousand. Oh, you're you're fluttering like neutral at that point. You're yeah. probably yeah. I, I just couldn't imagine having that much power and then you tap the gas and you're like hitting one hundred and forty and you still feel like you need to keep going because it's just it's just getting good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>